my lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. So, getting back into this game, we just left the house, and now we have to look for shelter elsewhere, because apparently this house isn't safe enough. No, four walls, a gate, nah, that doesn't scream safety at all, no, 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 no. Now, we, we must find something better, perhaps, a, I don't know, a Mega Million Mansion, a Mech Mansion, I don't know, and the game is glitching out a small bit. Hmm, probably something temporary, I wouldn't worry too much about it though. Okay, gotta keep quiet. Hello? Whoa, Jesus Christ! Are we going to die? God, I hope not. No, I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! What? He won't listen to that. We're, we're friendly. Come on, don't shoot me. There's a little girl here. Oh shit, you're not one of those things. God, no. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. Hey, Officer Friendly, how you doing? My name's Sean, Sean Green. This is Andre, Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Uh, there was a lot of them in the forest a while back. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah. One we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh, a neighbor. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just w Oh shit. Oh my god, shoot him! Let's go, get to my car! Go! Should you get in as well? Let's go! Okay, bye zombie chat. That's no one yet. Now, that has got me questioning. Would there have been a different scenario if I decided to leave the house during the day? Like, will that affect the overall outcome of the game? Or the overall outcome of the chapter? I don't know. It's looking to be pretty interesting so far. I've got zero complaints, and I'm surprised I've never played this game before. And so far, I'm loving it. I mean, I guess the main reason I'm loving it is Stay because... Your dad from... Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. He was indeed. One of the best. Anyway, as I was saying, the main reason I'm playing this... You too. Would you shut up? I'm playing this because I have a very fond love for the Walking Dead series. Very fond love. I'm God very fond of it. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta and uh, Chet. He got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Mm-hmm. Howdy. Yeah, we just need a place to stay, but I'll... Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Why yes. are you questioning me? Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Chainsaw and axe a hatchet. Will that fix me up? I mean, no leg, no pain. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Ah, yeah, well, it does hurt it like hurts hell. It hurts like hell. 
I bet it does. What did you say your name was? I didn't. I didn't. Well, now's the time. It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. But is that the same Herschel in the Walking Dead TV series? How'd this happen? I'll say car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Jill. I was getting out of Atlanta. The <laughs> news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Eh, nobody. Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. But what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Okay, there's not a lot of time for me to speak. Because I don't do talk and overshadow the dialogue here. It smells here. like... Shite. Manure. <laughs> Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> oh my god. I missed my mom and dad. I missed your mom I and dad too. Her. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh man, Lee is the most wholesome guy I've ever come across. The most wholesome guy in the game so far. I mean, he is just an absolute Chad. Oh, okay. He must have some skeletons hidden in his closet. Hey, get up! Oh, never mind. Can't elaborate now. Ugh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. You better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Like he sounds like a duck? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Chuck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, right. On the farm. Doing farm work. Can you shut up this lovely lady here? You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. And I'm noticing that the dialogue or that the voice actor's voice seems to like cut a small bit. Now whether that's something to do with my Elgato game capture software or it's just a glitch or a feature in the game itself I I don't don't know that hasn't been patched uh, it's not very nice to hear okay just gonna talk to you what's your name oh Katja that's your name can't speak hey there girls 
So, how's to see the ladies? How did you handle getting through the city? Can you just drove? We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. We just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Oh hell yeah. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Okay, yeah, what a little. All right, I want to know a little more about you. Is what I want to say. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats, and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. I guess she learned I was fired, and they'll just say you two look relaxed. Because they do, even though there's no awkward small talk going on. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how was that? No, she wasn't, don't lie. It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Oh, she gave me the stink eye. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, isn't it? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay, what about you, baby girl clamp? You want to talk to me? Shoot a cut? No, 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 no. Hey, back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay, that that's good. Right, I have to try and make some progress now. Can I go back into the barn? Okay, I can, but there is an invisible wall blocking my way. Oh no, whatever shall I do? Okay, but seriously. Gotta get to work, gotta build a fence, gotta do something. And yeah, I think... I think Herschel in this... In the Telltale's Walking Gate... The Telltale's, Telltale's Walking Dead game is the same Herschel from the Walking Dead TV series. But... Obviously not the same same, but You know you, you can draw similarities I think Because while this doesn't follow the exact events of the TV series or it might be based in the same world as the TV series I think it's gonna have its own unique events and its own unique timeline. Maybe Okay, either way John what do you need me to do? Hey Lee Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay, can do, buckaroo. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Jesus. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, my parents, my are, in parents are in Macon. I hope. 
Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All yeah, right, but anything else I can do? Maybe patch yourself a small bit. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Hmm. I mean, it's, a, it's an alright fixer-upper, I suppose. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Uh -huh. Yeah, and what about you, Ducky Wucky? My Bucky. And a howdy ho to you, too. Now, I want to know more about you. Can I talk to you? Shoot a cut, as it were. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm your foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Yeah, I, I don't think you're going to do any of that. Last time I was in one of those, I, I fell out and almost got killed. But that was when I was a, a kid. True story. I was riding in the back of um, a, a trailer of a tractor years ago. Years and years ago, my cousin was driving it. And whatever the hell I was doing, I managed to fall out. And Jesus, I gave him the fright of his life because he thought I was dead. Just completely... But oh my lord, Harry, that was probably one of the scariest experiences I've ever had in one of those. <laughs> there now you know a bit more about me. I used to be a farm boy. Although not really. Wait, what, 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 what? did I just struggle around? Okay, that's weird. I didn't think I could teleport like that. Okay. Now, who are you? Oh, Kenny. Kenny! Can I help you, Kenny? You need hey some there. help with the truck? Kenny? So, what's your so plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. But how big is the boat? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station when some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Oh no, and you look like a tough guy as well. I mean, look at that handle bus. Need any help? Handle bus, handle no, handlebar mustache. I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing. You got kids of your own. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. See you. Okay, now what is up with this truck? Busted radiator? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Yeah, like my previous tree cars. But now I've an even better car. I love it. It's a Golf. Oh, Herschel, there you are. Were you always in there? Or did you just spawn in there just now? Need some help shifting the manure there, buddy? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Oh! I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. Oh, God. Honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? No, it's on my way out anyway. I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. 
<laughs> if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yeah. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Yeah, I'll just say no wife anymore. No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia now. Sorry to hear it. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Whoa. Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh God, what's going on now? Go! I'll get my gun! Oh my god, you idiot duck. My leg is stuck. Who do I help? Who do I help? Oh god. Gonna be mad. Get out. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Come on, I dude. I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. All right. Guess that decides it. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Sucks. Well, this is as far as we're going, and it's far enough. Hey, we had a gas or something. Or are we just hoofing it to us? The West, the rest of the way. Jeez, what's wrong with my speech today? Look! Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, he doesn't look friendly. Fuck! Red truck! Look out! Look out! No! 
Oh god! Holy shit, that was close. Well, let's go, let's go! trying to avoid those things just like you don't come in here and swear at me i'll say whatever i want if you start threatening these people you'll have to excuse her the hell he or anyone will this is about survival do you guys not see what's happening yeah we what do and it's freaking terrible i i have to pee oh i'd go out there again in a second in a minute Clem. they've got kids lily those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give Oh, a that is Glenn. I, I, I was thinking that. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No, he wasn't. At least I don't think he was. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? We kill him. Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. Put your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. Okay, ready for the free room. We'll reason. We'll reason. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, you get it. It's a big deal. Do you? It's You're his son, goddammit. It. Like it. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Oh no. Worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my dog. I'm sure the bad guy. You're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Oh, hell no. It's the ball game. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? Don't be an uncontrollable man eater. Not it is. And we're tossing them out now. The hell you are. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <coughs> uh oh. <coughs> oh, God, they're already in. <coughs> Oh, come on, can he get up? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Get up, get up! Anybody feel like helping me out here? Oh, 
Someone did. Whew. You okay? Just great, thanks. Oh god. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? Yeah, I'll put some military. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was uh, uh, Bad. Oh god, he's having a heart attack. What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Okay, through the office. It's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Educated guess. Doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Oh yeah, I forgot that he has a pharmacy as well. Anything useful? We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Well, you know your way around, are you sure? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. Doug, you got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. So, is this his family's pharmacy? Or is it that he just knows, 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 no, no, knows the general structure of a pharmacy? No, no I, I reckon this could be his family's. Maybe. Okay, but how long have I been recording? Probably not that long. Because uh, I want to keep these episodes short enough just so I can pump out as much content as I can and have it as frequent as I can. 37 minutes. 37 minutes give or take and I know it probably has made one of my better videos I've been tripping and stumbling over words for some reason or another I don't know why it could be down to tardiness or anything else who knows yeah I'd say just down to tardiness because I'm a very tired guy most times yeah so I think I'll just leave it here I mean I think I think I, I, I got a good bit done so I reckon each episode of each season is probably going to be about an hour in length if not a little over an hour so yeah there is going to be a good bit of walking dead content up on my channel from here on out i know i said I was, I was going to go back to life is strange at some point but i might put that on the back burner for a while and then get back to it again i don't know when i know i said i don't like leaving a series unfinished but I'm just drained from playing that game. It, it is kind of a drag. It's not a terrible game by any means. But uh, it does drag out in some bits. So yeah, I'll just put that in the back burner for now. And try and do as much of the Walking Dead content as I can. And I will also play through Silent Hill 2 as well. Uh, once I've you know figured out what version of Silent Hill 2 I want to play. Whether it be... PS2 version through the uh, PS2 emulator or the HD remaster on PS3 if I can get that up and running or I think there is an enhanced edition for the PC which I think is a free download 
I just need to see which one suits me best, which one I could work with, because I know the PC version of Silent Hill 2, that doesn't support controllers, and I can't see myself playing that game with a mouse and keyboard, that would be impossible for me, but uh, yeah. Anyway guys, that's enough ramping for me, you know what to do, if you did enjoy this video by some freaking miracle, god bless you if you did, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share, and of course, like always, I will see you in the next one, so until next time, see ya.